Well, I'm here today with uh, Tom Quinn, a uh, member of the uh, Post Road Hitting Club. And uh, I'm going to make some assumptions here. You get, you sent me an email and said, hey, I'd like to come out and, uh, you know, you know, learn, uh, you know, some pointers, get some pointers. And I assume you saw the video with uh, Frank. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So tell me what your goal is in, in, in doing that. I mean, what, what, what do you want to accomplish from it? Well, I think my techniques have slipped a lot. So um, I'm trying to decide where I should be in the box. Uh, I know some of the mistakes I'm, I'm doing, but I just need reinforcement to, to uh, somebody take a look at them and go there and say, this is what you are doing, you need to back, go back to the basics and improve, you know, some of those type of uh, items and, and then swinging it back properly. Okay, let me ask you this, so just set the stage, I should have done it first, but, you know, your age and, and, and your background in softball. And, um, well, I just turned 76. Um, never really played softball much. I did down in Miami where I had worked uh, when I moved up here about two years up here. How long you live in Miami? All my life. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know about Jerry Skating in Miami? Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember them boys. I used to play for Jerry Skating up here. Yeah. Uh, so, Tom, what are your physical restrictions? Physical restrictions is probably age. Uh, physical restrictions, I've had both shoulders uh, operated on. Um, and you replaced the typical. You tell me you had some hand issues. Well, too. I've got some arthritis in hands, thank you to the family history, which, uh, you know, um, so I've got some of the restrictions. So, hey, other than that, uh, lately I haven't been getting myself to the gym enough just because of just You're looking pretty good, Jay. Yeah, I do. Now, look, now that, that said, yeah. uh, our boy Frank, mm -hmm. you may question, you know, you look like me a little bit. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but. So you're right actually about ten pounds over what I should. Your see. expectation is you want to prove your game a little bit. Yeah, we're absolutely. Play sweet. And uh, uh, here's what we're going to try to do. Uh, Dan and I worked as a team, and uh, we'll do some slow motion video of you. We'll we'll critique you here, uh, and, and um, we'll try to give you some pointers. The hard work will come from you. Uh, I watched you a little bit. Uh, you know, uh, what was it Friday? Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing I know is you're not going all the way through on the ball, and you probably that. know that. Know but that. Uh, let's let's see what we got. We'll tape you, uh, and then I'll put a little, uh, you know, clip out and let you look at it, so you can see. And I think that's the most beneficial thing that uh, you know helps everybody is able to see it, right? Sure. I mean, you were a chief in the, in the fire department. Right? Uh, don't promote it, captain. Captain. <laughs> oh, chief is higher. Yeah, but you were a boss, and you know yeah. about training and and and. Uh, mm -hmm. Seeing is, is the best, the right? and, and doing. Seeing and doing, right? Okay, well. Let's well, we asked uh, Tom to pick up uh, the speed stick and, and, and practice uh, his, his stance and his mechanics and, and try to make the ball pop out at the end. He was a little behind on that, but the basic uh, mechanics didn't look bad. He had learned about lifting his leg that – He'd stopped doing in the last uh, few weeks. Uh, he'll make that step. Again, the goal here is to pop that ball out in front of you, like where you hit the ball. If you notice, it's a little behind. I did some slow-mo on it, so uh, you could hit it, you could look at it, Tom. This is mainly for Tom's uh, education really to watch what he's doing and you see the the ball is is back it should be more out at at this point here when you um, you snap it the other part of that here's the example of me you see it's a little out front you'll see uh, in the next slide where I'm hitting it versus where you hit it You can you can see the ball out there. Uh, now we got um, Terry, and you see he's hitting more out in front. Boom! Yeah. And here's another slow mo. You see where he hits it. He hits it up right there, and he hits it almost on the square of the bat. Now this is uh, you again taking a, a, a decent swing um, see the next slide we got you um, hitting a relatively uh, 
good and, that, and that's good mechanics right there note that they change a little bit as we go through it here's another swing nice swing yeah another swing no no it's one you didn't swing at you let that sneak in there yeah it um Now that you went to right field with this one nicely. Rotation good. Um, I'm thinking, looking at this, that you, you, you're doing a little more rhythm in your swing, and I'm not so sure that you're, you're popping the wrist the way you need to be. Well, Tom, let me try to recap this now. Um, you had a really good workout based on what I had seen over the last several weeks. You, you hadn't hit the ball aggressively, but, but you did uh, today uh, with just a, a, a little practice. Now, going forward, I think we need to review your grip on the bat, not to change it to overlap because you mentioned that you had arthritis. But, but uh, in, in the terms of how are you holding it, you know, cause several words, hold, holding your fingers, make sure your hands are loose. I think we talked a little bit about that. The second one is uh, – Focus more on snapping your wrist. I'm not so sure, but I'm not sure you're breaking your wrist like you're supposed to. It's hard to see. Uh, I'll get with Dan and we'll look at it, but uh, we need to review that. Uh, remember, loose muscles are fast muscles, so um, you need to um, you know, make sure your hands are loose in the box and relaxed. And again, I think we talked about it. And you said you do that. And uh, I mentioned this before, hold the bat in your fingers and not your palms. So there's several other things, but it's just the things uh, off the top of my head. Um, basically, it was a good day, oh man. Keep up the good work. I believe the main thing we need to focus on is just be aggressive, Tom. Be aggressive. Like Dan in this slide. You see that aggressive swing? Now he's... 25 years younger than you so he, it's got to be in context so you, you be Tom Quinn aggressive self we all can't be like Dan and Big Chucky so you're doing real good buddy keep it up